All right, this last one for the problem set is a little bit tricky too. Got to do some math and think laterally here. We've got 1.5 million live births. The number of babies born with the chondroplasia was 31, and of these, 18 had a parent with the chondroplasia. So 31 minus 18 is what? It's 13. That means 13 babies that were born with the chondroplasia did not have a hereditary version of it. They had a new mutation that happened. And because we know that a chondroplasia is caused specifically as a dominant allele, right? You only need one. One mutation to cause this. We've got 1.5 million babies, but they have twice as many alleles, right? 3 million total alleles. 13 of these alleles were mutated to cause a dominant allele, which would then cause a chondroplasia. So 13 out of 3 million would be the mutation rate for this. Now, what would be the mutation frequency in this scenario? Well, we've already established that because it's an autosomal dominant disorder. You only need one copy, right? It's homozygous lethal. So all these individuals must be heterozygous if they were born. So in this case, we've got 1.5 million live births, but 3 million alleles total. And 31 alleles, right, are these dominant alleles that cause the chondroplasia. So 31 out of 3 million would be the mutation frequency.